Modern green roofs have their beginning in Germany a little bit more than 40 years ago. Today is estimated that 10% of all German roofs have been greened. The growth can be attributed to the variety of environmental and economical benefits that have resulted of green roof technology in urban areas. Green roofs provide microclimates, which reduce the heat trapping properties of asphalt, concrete, and black tar, and raise temperatures of dense urban areas. A study conducted by Environmental Canada found 26% reduction in summer cooling needs and 26% reduction in winter heat losses when a green roof was added. The study also showed that the temperature of a green roof membrane on a 95 degree day is averaged to reduce from 158 degrees to 77 degrees. In areas with combined sewer storm water systems, heavy storms can overload the wastewater system and cause it to flood. The result is the dumping of raw sewage into local waterways. Green roofs decrease the total amount of runoff and slow the rate of runoff from the roofs. Tests conducted by the Pennsylvania State University Green Roof Research Center found that they can retain up to 75% rainwater, gradually releasing it back into the atmosphere through condensation while retaining pollutants into their soil. In addition, greening a roof is expected to lengthen a roof's lifespan by two or three times. Finally, green roofs provide habitats for plants, insects, and animals that otherwise have limited natural space in cities. Considering the vast amount of knowledge about the benefits of green roof systems and their success in Germany and Europe, it is surprising to find that the trend has not caught on quicker in the United States. Why is this happening, you ask? First of all, there is a lack of effort in the education of rooftop gardens in the U.S. Penn State is the only university in the country that teaches green roof landscaping while other landscaping architecture schools place little importance on the technology. Secondly, the price of green roofs is about twice as high as a traditional roof in the United States. The economical turnaround on green roofs only pays off after a long period of use. This becomes a turnoff for many Americans who want to see the quickest route to saving a dollar. American building codes also generally permit lower weight bearing capacities than German construction. Germans tend to construct their buildings for centuries of use. Because of this, German roofs bear more load, giving their roof installers more leeway with the weight of the green roof medium than American installers. Finally, Germany can more easily legislate stormwater mitigation. Although building codes and zoning ordinances exist within most American cities, most people in charge of enforcing these codes have no knowledge of the benefits that green roofs can have for stormwater mitigation. The areas where green roofs are starting to emerge in the U.S. are cities, where their use is encouraged by regulations to combat the urban heat island effects, such as Chicago, Atlanta, and Portland. In the case of Chicago, the city has passed codes offering incentives to builders who put green roofs on their buildings. Other sites in the U.S. today that are suitable for green roofs are countless pancake, flat-topped warehouses. These buildings, which are situated in industrial areas such as Long Island City, were built before 1955, when structures were generally over-engineered. They are therefore able to withstand the weight of rooftop vegetation without additional support. If the experience of Chicago and Germany are any indications into the benefits of rooftop gardens, government needs to provide incentives that address short-term costs before green roofs can begin to ease our increasingly hot, polluted cities. New materials must also be explored that are lighter and easier to install to encourage the personal homeowner to invest in the environment and lower energy costs. As Americans, we tend to be insular to foreign ideas and technologies. It is incentives that must force us to consider a healthier future where less is going to waste.